Hello, hi my friends. In this video, we try to determine what this voltmeter measurement is all about. Uh, this voltmeter measurement measure the DC voltage, which is going through a number six cable to the inverter junction, and then from the inverter junction going through a four zero cable all the way to the battery. So this is not the actual battery voltage measurement. This is just a measurement at the point of the connections of this voltmeter. Uh, luckily, I also have a voltmeter set up to measure the battery directly. And this measurement bypassing the BMS. So right now, the voltage displays is 13.27 volt, 13.27 volt. And back to the panel, uh, slide door panel measurement is 13.29 volts. So there's a uh, 20 millivolt discrepancy between the two voltages. So first of all, I'm going to turn on the DC power and then measure these uh, voltages. And then after that, I'll do the AC power at different power low level. So the first thing I want to do is to turn on about 15 watts of low. 15 watts of low. So this 15 watts of low include a 7 watts of dome light and also a 8 watts of digital video recorder. So right now we have 15 watts of low. And this voltmeter measurement says 13.2 volt. And then the battery measurement is 13.27 volts. So the next low we want to put on is the fantastic fan. The fantastic fan has 30 watt of low. So now we have the fantastic fan on in addition to the other 15 watts. So we have about 45 watts of low. And the measurement is 13.14 volt. The battery measurement is 13.27 volts. Now let's keep on increasing the low. I will turn on all the LED lights. And the LED lights adds about 60 watt of low to the system. So we have about a total of 105 watts of low. And this measurement give us 13.01 volt. The battery measurement is 13.26 volt. So you can see there's a uh, pretty large uh, voltage drop between the panel measurement and the battery measurement. Uh, additionally, we're going to turn on more low. This time we're going to add the fridge uh, power usage. The fridge add another 60 watt of uh, low to the system. So right now, it's a total about 165 watt of total low. It's a 12.91. And then the battery measurement is 13.25. So this is uh, the DC low. The next step, we're going to do the AC lows.
So for the AC low, we need to turn on the inverter. So I gotta make sure all the DC lows are off before we do the AC lows. Okay, the fridge is off. All the LEDs are off. And the doom light is off. The digital recorder is off. So all the DC low are off. Now we're going to turn on the uh, inverter. Before we turn on the inverter, let's check the uh, voltage again with uh, no DC low. It's back to 13.28. And the battery is 13.27. Uh, okay. Now let's turn on the inverter. So the inverter is on. Uh, this is still 13.28. And the battery is 13.26. Uh, so the first low we want to turn on is the television and the television should take about 150 watts. So the television unfortunately does not have a good antenna signal. But uh, it's on, the television is on, and the television is at 150 watt, and the panel reads 13.27 uh, volts, and the battery is 13.26 uh, volts. Uh, you notice that the voltage drop is not that much because 150 watt across a 40 gauge cable which has very little resistance that's why you don't see a lot of uh, voltage drop but <clears throat> but if we increase the wattage uh, we're gonna add 1000 watt into the system so the total wattage on AC low is about 1,150 watts, so 1,150 watts, uh, adding the inverter which is 60 watts, so it adds to about 1,210 watts. So let's turn on the kettle. Now the kettle is on. And now the panel reading is about 12.99, roughly 12.99 volt. And the battery reading is 13.14 volt. So uh, we have done completing the measurement between the voltmeter above the slide door and the actual uh, battery voltage. And after this video, I will put together a graph to show you how at different points of low, you would get a different voltage from the panel. And uh, what happened is the panel voltage also triggered the volt start. So even though this is not exactly the battery voltage, but the volt start was triggered by this voltage instead of the actual battery voltage. So if you have a factory configuration wiring mesh uh, system, uh, the volt start would comes on earlier because this reading is from the discharge side. But if the reading were on the charge side, then it will come later. 
So after you rewire your system, you will notice that your battery actually lasts longer between both start. Uh, the difference is because if you wire it to the charge side, if you wire it to the charge side, then the voltage drop between the, the charge ca side cable is almost zero. So this reading will be a lot closer to the battery reading if it's wired to the charge side. But if you have the factory configuration, you will see a voltage drop and causes the voltage start to come on earlier. So uh, this is it. Thank you, friends. Have a good day. Bye-bye.